Hello, I'm Dr. Mangla Devi. I'm the clinical director at Smile Baby IVF. I'm qualified from NUHS Singapore. Infertility is a condition where the couple fails to conceive even after one year of regular unprotected intercourse. Irrespective of which strata of the society we belong to, there is an inherent desire in most couples to try and conceive and beget a child, whether it is due to an inherent individual desire or due to family or society pressure. All couples want to conceive as soon as they decide to go ahead with their family life. However, it is seen that in some cases this may not be possible. And this causes a lot of social and psychological pressure and stress on the couple. The stress may even be in terms of financial issues too. So why does infertility cause so much of stress? In some of the countries, it is believed to be a curse of God. Whereas in the more developed nations, they look at the cause of infertility to be biological. However, irrespective of where or which country they belong to, infertility is itself stressful. It may cause a host of psychological reactions in both the partners. Both men and women undergo a lot of emotional, financial and psychosocial distress. In men, generally, the response to infertility is very different. Men are generally more pragmatic and as long as the cause is not a male factor infertility, they are able to handle the issues a little more uh, practically. So the amount of stress is much lesser in men as compared to women. This may be probably because women are far more emotional than men. Women not only react emotionally and have a host of emotional reactions, but they also see they socially isolate themselves from their friends and other people who have conceived and moved ahead in life. Apart from this, women are also the subject of marital discord and a lot of abuse on the hands of the family. So that is why women are at a deeper receiving end than the men. The host of reactions can be ranging from anger, depression, it can be even hatred, it can be envy, envy of their female friends who have conceived and it can even be a sense of inadequacy that they may experience. So it is not just the cause of infertility that leads to psychosocial stress, it can also include the various tests that are involved and also the various procedures or treatment procedures that are involved that can lead to psychosocial stress. This may also have several other factors affecting it such as age of the patient, number of years of married life and other factors such as who is the earning member in the family it may also cause factors such as the number of doctors seen before taking the treatment, number of years of treatment, all these things add to the psychosocial stress of the patient and his partner.